Oh my God, that's so pretty. Okay, I think I like Mufasa and the Meadows. So let's go in with that. Now, we're gonna do a little experiment. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, so we've got all the green deposited on there. We're gonna go in with Mufasa. I like saying that name, Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna go in with Mufasa. Ooh, this is... What is up, you guys? I'm coming to you now for a third time to do the right makeup demonstration I should have done the first time. As you know, today I will be reviewing the Lion King palettes uh, by Luminous and Sir John. I received these as a gift uh, from my sister and didn't have a chance to use them or get into them, uh, you know, really until we went into quarantine. So I'm excited now to talk about them. Since this is my third time using them, this is what I can say and tell you for sure. First and foremost, these are beautiful color formulations. Like, are you even kidding me? Look at how beautiful those bronzes are. This is the contouring palette. Um, really soft, excellent pigment, beautiful on all skin tones and for all women. So this definitely already, that's a win for me, uh, especially since someone like me who is, you know, tan pretty much throughout the year. And then in the summer is usually like, medium tan or dark um it was really nice to see a bunch of colors and a bunch of pans that are complementary for women who may be a little bit darker than me or a little bit lighter than me so that was exciting and the actual sorry i'm trying not to like reflect my light the actual eyeshadow palette is also incredibly beautiful you can see which ones i've used already the meadows mufasa and nala uh, because I attempted twice, not once, twice to do a smoky eye and it just, it just didn't work for me. It's not that a smoky eye isn't beautiful and sultry. I just think for me personally, it was more important to do makeup that is authentic to what I would wear. So I'm going to stick to what I know and what I'm good at, which is doing natural makeup and incorporating beautiful, excellent formulations. So let's jump in i have washed my face now for a third time and um because it's summer well it feels like summer it's april but it's 90 degrees today my eczema is starting to act up here like around my eyebrows and right here um between my nose and my brow bone usually get really dry and if i'm not careful or i'm not paying attention to how i'm moisturizing it can also get scaly so I empathize. I am a sufferer of eczema, so I understand. I feel you. Generally, I don't have it on my face. Usually, I get it like on my um, on my shins, um, or you know, sometimes on my arms in patches. Or if I get too too tanned, um, like actually, you can see it here. If I get too tanned, like on a vacation, and then it starts to peel, it's it's actually my eczema. So my skin can look like it has a lot of hyperpigmentation, which is something that women of color, black women like me, Asian women, so both, and women that are, can be of both descent, like myself, um, I just noticed as I've gotten older, that is something that I struggle with. Um, so I empathize for those of you who do. We're gonna do an easy, comfortable makeup look, natural, because that is what's authentic to me, and we'll incorporate the beautiful Lion King palette. Today, I'm gonna use just this tinted moisturizer, uh, this Physicians Formula, uh, Sheer Line of Defense. And the color I use is tan. Um, so you can see, matches my yellow uh, undertone perfectly. I'm just gonna do two little squeezes and then get this all into my face. And I only, I prime my face using my oil moisturizer, again, because of like my dry areas like this. But if you desire to use a primer before using uh, your tinted moisturizer, feel free. So I'm just gonna go in liberally with all of this and up to the hairline. Oh, and I have to tell you guys, it was a disaster. The first 
<laughs> like genuinely I, I can be a dramatic person but I'm genuinely telling you the first two tries were a disaster my makeup it looked so bad but just goes to show it's important to be authentic and good where we're at meet ourselves where we're at and not to be too judgmental so natural makeup is what looks good on me when i do makeup so that's what we're gonna stick with i'm gonna stick with what i know so uh and i'm also gonna bring the camera in a little bit my intention was not to rush through this particular product because i have had these palettes for a while and they're beautiful and i had been wanting to use them but as you can see behind me i have replaced my foyer table with a look rack a look rack because i have a bunch of dresses and looks and i have two boxes down there just of clothing um and different products that i've not even opened yet haven't tried haven't talked about so we have some we have some really cool and interesting videos for next week um which reminds me sorry so we're gonna chat through this now that my tinted moisturizer is on, I don't know if you guys can see this redness. I'm just being gentle with it. I didn't try to scrub it off or irritate it further. To be fair, I did wash my face twice and have to use micellar water to remove all of the shadow. So it's possible my skin is just angry with me. It's a thing that happens. Um, I am going to go in with the contouring palette and I'm just going to do some simple and when i say simple i mean like just shading close to the hairline so i don't think you need to be an expert um to contour most women i think i think women of all sizes shapes colors creeds look beautiful with their you know natural face shape and i think it's amazing what some women can do being really professional with contouring but that's not this video we're just gonna go in shade what we naturally have sculpt what we naturally have and move on so i'm gonna use this shade pumba um and i'm just gonna pat i'm just gonna pat that in there and i'm gonna go right up here into the hairline and i've probably only contoured or i've only powder contoured my face like maybe once and it wasn't it wasn't like a deep process but i tend to have i have a high forehead and so as you can see i have a five head um so when i'm wearing a super slick down style like this or it's like this is like four day hair and i just have it slicked down in a bun or whatever i notice that my forehead tends to be a little bit more prominent that's actually why i wore bangs for like seven or eight years because i hated my forehead i was so self-conscious my sisters would always make fun of me and so i wore bangs to kind of cover up the fact that i just had a lot more going on up here i get to work on just loving every part of me so even the parts that people think they can judge or make fun of. So, you know, whatever you got, own it. Okay. Is that just my dimple? It is. It's just my dimple. Sorry. I like this Marula color as well. So um, instead of using an eyeshadow primer, because that's what you do when you're doing a proper smoky eye, like that's how you do it. I'm not going to do that. I have drier skin and my eyelids don't usually tend to be oily, but when I put a primer on them, I notice they just get dried out even more. So I am just going to tap lightly this powder onto my eyelid because it's a matte powder. And so it just absorbs any of the oil um, primer moisturizer that I had on there. And as you can see, my lids do look a little darker than usual as does my lash line and it's just from washing my face twice today washing the makeup off of it so okay now i'm gonna go in and do a little bit of highlighter so i have a little bit of a glow um i notice i mean i like blush but it's I have to use a lot of it for the pigment to show as I'm sure a lot of a lot of darker skinned women must have to do. So I think that like this 
cream highlighter, which is Physicians Formula, by the way, and it's organic, um, does a little bit of a better job lightening up my cheeks um, without making it look like I'm having a skin breakout. <laughs> because instead of my cheeks looking rosy, it just looks like I'm having a skin reaction. So, and then I'll put a little down my nose just to lighten that up. I think I've learned my lesson. I'm not gonna go in here in this area because it just starts to look, again, like I'm a disco ball. So we're trying to go for subtle here, <laughs> not I love the nightlife. We're just gonna comb my brows, which are a little bit dry and haven't been professionally shaped uh, in a long while, in almost two months, so forgive me for that but we're not gonna fill them in I think they're I think they're just okay as is um, I probably should pluck these little ones under here but I'm reluctant to do that because I usually have them threaded so we're all so we're all a little bit out of our comfort zones now the fun part instead of going in heavy with the eyeshadow which is what most people would do when feeling like they need to demonstrate how they can do a complicated smoky eye. We're not gonna do that. Um, because again, I don't like makeup that's complicated. If someone were doing it on me professionally, I think that would be one thing, but it's me doing it and now the third time. We're gonna do what I know best. So we're gonna go in with um, a cream gel formula eyeliner. So it'll be a little bit smudgy. I also have, if you like a like a chubbier eyeliner, I have this um, Pat McGrath Labs liner, but the tip, the reason we're not gonna use it for this video, is the tip is a little bit too chunky for the kind of line I wanna draw, and I want to look like a smudged, sexy cat, not a raccoon. So we're gonna use the finer point. I got a little messy there, but it's okay. See, look at my redness. It's real, it's real skin. See, and that already kind of achieves like that smudgy look. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that's like a much better, much better effect. Okay, now with the Can't Wait To Be Queen um, eyeshadow palette, what I'm gonna do, and I used to actually do this uh, when I was in college, I would use just like my fingertip. This also swatches super nice, really pigmented, especially on medium to tan, darker skin tones like mine. So that's, that's a really good color wash. Dab a little bit of the actual color on. So you can see, although my lights are a little bit bright, you can see the shape of my liner just takes on the color of the shadow. And I actually love how that looks. And we'll do the same thing. And I still have color on here on my ring finger. And I'm just gonna dab it all along the lash line. Now we're talking. Like, I love that green pigment. Let's talk about this shadow. So, um, of all of the beautiful colors that you can see here, I feel like they all have a really, really nice and unique texture. The ones that are shimmery tend to fly away a little bit, so just be aware of that if you do have this palette or you're planning on buying it. Um, the only thing I don't like is the flyaway because what happens is it gets in my lashes before I even put on mascara. It ends up down here. Uh, I have a little bit of fallout. It's very faint, but I can see it, which we'll go over with powder at the end. Uh, that also might have been from my <laughs> from my finger. Um, and with these softly, like finely milled shadows with the flyaway, it can end up in your eye, um, on your clothing, or you know, on any of the surfaces around you. Uh, so that's just something to watch out for. But I don't think the matte shades like these probably have that same problem because they, they look like they're the same texture as the contouring uh, palette. 
and that didn't have any flyaway on my eyes um, or on my hairline or near my cheekbones. So that's, for me, that's a positive. And I'll go in with Marula, which is that same shade that I used on top of my eye to just prep it for the liner. And we'll dab it along here. Let's finish this look out with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This one is brand new. I actually just received it, um, but I haven't used it yet. I used it in the previous look, which got washed away. Um, and it's not, a, it's not a shimmery powder. It's more of a glow from within powder, uh, which I'm more into these days. So it doesn't quite mattify the look because I do like my skin to be dewy, but it kind of just helps set anything in place and again neutralize any other flyaways i might have had i was super excited to purchase this powder um as you can see i have the medium shade uh but i was a little bit disappointed because elf usually has like a elf usually has a wide range of shades for women of all colors um but this particular powder only came in like a very fair shade, this medium like bronze. It looks light, but it's it's medium. And then a darker shade that kind of looks looks a smidge darker than my bronzer, which for me, I knew if it was distributed all over my face, it would just be a little bit too dark. But I hope that the reason they only have three shades for that powder is so that when it goes on, it's a little bit more universal. This is more the look that I not only was going for, but that's more authentic and appropriate to like the type of makeup I would do every day. Although there are a lot of amazing, great videos out there, women who are actual beauty gurus who can do JLo type makeup, I just don't happen to be one of them. And I think it's okay if you are part of the group of women who are like, you know what? I like to have a snatched natural face and that's fine with me. So I'm with you, I'm on your team, I get it. This to me would be the finished look. I think that these palettes are wonderful. Again, I think the colors are beautiful. I think they're really rich. I think you can have a lot of fun with them, even if you're trying to stick to pretty simple natural makeup. Luminous, Sir John, these palettes are a win for me. It took me, it took me three tries. But here I am, I made it happen, and I'm happy with the look that I have because I want to look in the mirror and always think, this is my face, this is makeup that I like. Hopefully this inspired a few of you. If you like this video, make sure that you hit subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and you like this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks for struggling through that with me the first two times, and I am excited to get into next week's fashion haul.